Pellerton is your local election headquarters. After more than a decade of running unopposed, Greene County Sheriff Jim Arnott will have some competition come August. Ben McMains, the former school resource officer in Fair Grove, announced he plans to run for Greene County Sheriff. Color 10's Carissa Codell sat down with both candidates. She's live outside the sheriff's office tonight. Carissa. And both candidates have decades of law enforcement experience, but different ideas on what the county needs going forward. Something needs to change. The citizens of Greene County deserve better. I think we've made the community safer and, and uh, accomplished a lot of things. Greene County voters in August will have a choice on who they want as their sheriff. Ben McMains has 18 years of law enforcement experience, ranging from a patrol officer to Laclede County deputy to chief of police in Conway, and most recently the school resource officer for Fair Grove. So I have fresh ideas and I think you need that because if you've been in a certain position for so long, you, you lose that edge. McMains had his commission revoked from Fairgrove earlier this year after an investigation into a complaint made by a city employee. The move led to widespread criticism from McMains supporters in Fairgrove. Current Sheriff Jim Arnott started working for Greene County as a deputy when he was 20 years old and has moved up the ranks for 36 years. I do know the county, the citizens, and uh, I feel that I represent what they they want me to and um, I think my probably my background and my record speaks for itself. If elected, McMains and Arnott both say they would take a proactive approach to reduce crime. We have a proactive crime unit now, but it's uh, roughly four people. I'd like to add more people to that and uh, try to get ahead of some of the gang uh, issues and the violent crime that we're dealing with today in the city of Springfield and Greene County. I've spoke a lot about reaching out to our youth um, and I think that will help our crime rates in the future because if those individuals get comfortable with law enforcement officers, they're more apt to go to them, talk to them and explain what problems they're having. And for previous coverage on what happened to McMains while he was in Fair Grove, you can go to our website, ozarksfirst.com, and search Fair Grove. Reporting live in Greene County, I'm Carissa Codell, Color 10 News.